disgusting. <laughs> that is so disgusting. It is. It's like boogers. It's so gross. Slimy. Slimy. That's so funny. <laughs> so the thinner that you 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 scrape this through, scrape the the backing out in here, the the meat of the pumpkin, the thinner you scrape it, the easier it's going to be to cut through there. But it's also not going to last as long because as it starts to shrink in and dehydrate it when you put it out for decoration, the thicker it is, the longer it's going to last. But uh, for him, I'm going to scrape his a little thinner so he can cut through it easily, and then mine I'm going to leave a little thicker so it'll last longer. Yeah. Carving pumpkins is a messy deal. But it's fun! That's part of why it's so fun. It's because it's so messy. Look at that one. Ah! Oh! I got the hand! <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger bowl. Yeah, so that. Where did my hand go, Mike? I don't know. I know, it, it's my pumpkin. <laughs> there it is, in that bowl. There it is, buried in pumpkin guts. Ew. No, in it, 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 very pumpkin pie. <laughs> that show is yummy. Hey, look through your book and find your design. Which design do you want to do? Cyclops? Yeah. Okay. You found it. There it is. Okay, so we found the pattern for the Cyclops pumpkin. That's the one he's going to do. So we will just cut that page out. And then I'm going to do a bat. So we have four pumpkins to do today, but these are the first two we're going to do. A bat and a Cyclops scary pumpkin. Okay, so we just cut our pages out of the design book, and then we have to dampen them down so they'll lay down on the pumpkin, and then we'll wrap them with saran wrap. All right, so I've already got the sides of the pumpkins that are the best, you know, the cleanest with the least Mars and everything facing us. So, go ahead, put your design on there. There's your lesson. Don't get them too wet and tear them. Okay. And it didn't affect the design, so I'm okay. All right. So we'll start with yours. Does that help me? Yeah, of course I will. And if it's too hard for me, it's the that that you try it. My that's all yours. No, you're gonna work on it too, sweetie. You can do this. Okay, so then we just cover it with saran wrap so it's tight. Okay. Check. So hold it in place while we work on it. Okay. Okay. Now fish take round. Now wait to me. Check. Now get me. Yep. Okay, so you don't just start cutting right away. You use the little poking tool. So what you'll do is you'll go along the line, like a connect the dots, and you'll poke through the pumpkin. Just poke, 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 all around the design. So then when you take the little cutting tool, you just connect the dots. And it's so much easier than try, especially on curves, than trying to use a knife. So when you're doing a curvy design like these, make sure that you poke, 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 like connect the dots. I want and then we'll start carving. You want to start poking your holes? Yes.
Okay, so we're all done cutting them out. You may have to, when you take the paper and plastic off, we'll have to trim out. They might be connected in a little spot or, you know, messy. You can just trim it out, use your hand, clean it out. Oh, let's see. All right, there's yours. Yeah, take the paper off. Go ahead and take the plastic and paper off, and then it's going to be kind of messy. The paper's probably stuck to the front, so here's your washcloth. Your dry one, just wipe it down and get all the stuff off. I see that. I need to take all the, the skin off. Off the day. Yeah, see these little pieces? They go out. Ella, help. There you go. Just punch those little ones. They should be cut. Just go ahead and punch them out. Okay. Do the same over here. Okay, after you push all the pieces out, you can see there will be some stuff hanging out. So you can just trim all that out and clean it up just a little bit. Just kind of trim it. And then after we get them cleaned up here, we'll uh, put some lights in them and have a look at them. Okay, we're getting ready to light them up. First, we're going to do it with these regular votive candles which would be how you do it out on the porch or whatever. You can use LED lights or whatever. Then we're going to try it with some of these colored lights. So, okay. I think I'm going to put two oh, candles in you. each one to make them brighter. And pick the dark. Yes, I got you. It's glowing, Mommy. What do you think? I like it. 